Hey there, it's Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger and Forex U-Turn, and today is June 18th, 2012, and we're going to look at the Euro and see the nice setup. So basically here when our opportunity at 10 o'clock GMT opened and presented itself, the filter was blocked down here, as you can see, so there was no setup at that point in time. It didn't set up, okay, until we broke through this support right here, okay, came down and went right up. So this would have been your first sell right here. Okay, and down it went about 68 pips, and if you would have held on to it, well, it went down about 130. You see that Greek news, we had a gap open on Sunday, it went up like 120 pips, and what did they do after that? They said, news? What news? And then they sold it off. That, they, you know, they, they play this game so often, it's, it's not funny, you know. Um, and this is what happened today, it's a big, huge rundown. So anyway, that's it for... Uh, you know, this other than selling rallies all the way down into the trigger line. As you can see, it worked for you all the way down. This filter all the way down told you, don't buy it, don't buy it, don't buy it. And sure enough, it worked for you. Okay, let's take a look at the one minute now. We'll take the auto scroll off and let's see what it produced for us. Okay. So right in here uh, is our two o'clock. There was no trade here. There was no trade here. Um, and then at about 20 to 3, or 4 I should say, now you had just had 10 pips. So if you sold it, you would have sold it right there. We just broke through the support. We had some support over here. And sure enough, it went down. You got your 10 pips out of it. And that's the one trade you would have had. Great stuff. A winner on the scalper. And on the pound... Uh, basically, the filter did agree at 3 o'clock, so you would have sold right there. You would have put your stop up here about 20, 30 pips. It would have went against you about 11 pips, and you definitely got 46 pips to the bottom. Good trade, good trade. And the Swiss, let's take a look at the Swiss. The Swiss is the opposite of the Euro. See how the filter is the opposite? This is how you know, this is how I know that they have them tagged and rigged together because you see the exact same price bars in an, an opposite uh, manner. Um, you see the, the filter reacting in the exact opposite way. So you know that right now, if you want to sell the euro, you can bet, you, if you have a, uh, a signal to sell the euro, you can bet your little booty that you have a signal to buy the Swiss at the exact, the exact, ladies and gentlemen, same time, which was right there. Okay, 10.55, and I'll prove it to you. Remember this rally back up into the trigger line? Let's go look. I'll show you. Right there. What time is that? 10.55. Do you see the time, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that now. Look at that carefully. Okay, now let's go to the Swiss. Look at that. The exact same deal at the exact same time. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Anyway. You could have bought the dips all the way up. Okay, so let's take a quick look now at the, what's it called? Forex U-turn. Oh, geez, I need to slap myself. Almost forgot what I was saying here. Okay, well, we have a lopsided M here formation, but that's not a good formation. Well, it is. It, it could work, um, but the filter did not agree at the time. Filter didn't agree until, like, way over here. So if you did get short, well, you, you're making a few pips, okay? And on the pound, okay, see, it's not so lopsided. Here is the M formation. But the red filter didn't agree till right over in here, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it for the setups for today for June the 18th, 2012. You guys have a great summer day. Have some barbecue. Enjoy the sun. We'll see you tomorrow.